importing the character Eve Shepard, 57, Sentinel, Renegade. Rex survived the mission. Oh, oh, Rex could die, I guess, if you, like, told him to fuck off with his, like, cure stuff. I did not even remember that. Holy shit. Yes, Ashley was killed. Council was saved. And obviously, recommended Captain Anderson for the seat on the council. All right. It is time for one of the greatest games ever. I am so excited. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth! We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Ah! I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. I'm not leaving here.
Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right. I don't want to speak too soon, but immediately, movement just feels so much smoother. Obviously, graphically, things are just so much better, too. Even though, you know, the first game, since it's Legendary Edition, was, you know, upscaled and maybe tweaks here and there. You know, this game was designed, like, you know, completely differently than the first game. Just everything is going to look much more detailed. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack. I don't need a review since we just had that, so. Or, um, it's an interactive comment. Fuck it, whatever, I'm sure it's not too long. We don't need a review, but we'll do it anyway, because it's cool. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine, you haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission, answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. Whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Alenko. Good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core, tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. 
Lieutenant Alenko made the mistake of getting too close. I hit him with some type of energy. I grabbed him and threw him out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. I could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Udina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Udina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led us to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace that they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat. But they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I'd need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species, Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the Beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new... appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Caden was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently, she felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission, finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved the queen of a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they were not happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone, with the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her, but 
the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't take the chance. I had a mission to do. And an army of angry Rachni would be one more problem I didn't have time to deal with. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer. But we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed, violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split my team into two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And then talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign, the Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he'd found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence. But he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend. And a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Caden. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Ash's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we put our feelings aside for the sake of the mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died like every species before them, but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers, once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope that the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running. And I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Council fleets battled Saren's army outside the Citadel, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. 
He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but... As the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left to me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be placed before him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough, but fair. But a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned cleanup duty. Routing out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Well, that was fun. Gorgeous comic. Great recap. Obviously long, but like necessary and super engaging. Hit all the marks that's supposed to. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Alright, got some chills right now. Remember, we were in space and... What happens when you don't have air in space? Well... We died. But they can rebuild me. there uh so i made minor tweaks to the face um so i will have both like in the first game the face that i got the code from and then i'll also provide the code of my very minor tweaks um so when you go to a custom it changes it completely but you wouldn't even see the difference really um i changed the lip shape otherwise the eyes are like barely lower and closer like barely and I think I fucked with the jaw to make it a little bit thinner, but like, you wouldn't notice unless I did very... Uh, like, close screenshots to each other, so... Uh, so here's my code. Yeah. Bam. So, you wouldn't notice the difference. But again, it is a different lip shape. Eyes are a little bit in, a little bit down. Uh, jaw's in a bit. The chin is less deep. It's pretty much it. Very minor. Uh, we are continuing as the Sentinel. So I did start planning out the build. Rough idea, at least. Uh, we get tech armor, which we'll talk about, because this has like a, a hidden aspect that's not mentioned in the game. Our powers are throw, warp, Overload and Cryoblast. I'll be focusing on Warp and Overload. 
and we can use heavy pistols and machine guns. Alright, let's do it. Yep, all of our stuff. She's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. <laughs> Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Wake up, Commander. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Well, I'm all scarred up. Uh, so we have experience points from importing, okay. Put this all update first. Oh, we have renegade points, okay. And paragon points from importing, okay. You don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and armor. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get Again, just movement feels now. so much smoother. And the armor just looks so much better. Ugh. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Alright, reload. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out! <laughs> Okay, cover already is much better too. Again, all these things are gonna be everything. Every facet is gonna be improved, but I'm still gonna comment on it because it's God, it's such a difference already. Ugh. Yes. That ammo? That's what that is. Okay, so you can't blind. Wait, that's me blind. Maybe because I'm. Okay, yeah, if you blind fire, you still go up and aim. So there's no real blind fire. Nice work, Shepard. Coast is clear. Why did it just cut the dialogue there? I can already guarantee this is just a test. This is all fake. They're setting it up to see if I'm back to normal. And like with the first game, when I say stuff like this, even though this one's not that important, I will say things without spoiling. Spoiling! So I don't know for a fact this is set up, and again, this one's not important if I did know. Um, but still, I'll try to keep spoilers to myself, comment on the story and all that as if it was the first time through. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely... Well... Maybe, maybe it's paintball? Okay. I, don't, I still think it's a setup, but I don't know. <laughs> Hold shift. Oh yeah, for this menu. Okay. Uh, just letting this. So we got a grenade launcher. Where the fuck is it? Move your mouse over the weapon bar. I mean, I got tech armor. Throw. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. 
Effective against armor, weak against shield and barriers. Oh, this is the game they add. Yes. Oh, man. Awesome. Uh, effective against everything. Rapid fire Let's grenade launcher. Okay. Hurry, get to the door, run. Oh. You're doing great, Shep. Head to the next room and I'll try to meet you. Shep, you can freed me. I've got things closing in on my position. Go that way. Yes, I will. There's melee. There is melee. Hostile forces have engaged. Hostile forces have engaged. Okay, they detonated. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate oh, that's cool. the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols. So it's going to be different in the first game. You found two matching symbols. Select them. Complete all circuits. Okay, so it's uh, one of those games. Oops. Yeah, I fucked up. But that there's no like fail. Okay, credits. new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've two been comatose, years. Okay. or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Ooh, so we're gonna get the... Shepard, you're alive moments? Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Alright. Stun him! So we've got, uh, Incendiary. Okay, so they introduced the ammo. That's right, yeah, because I was looking into... Give my character uh, warp ammo. Um, 
So obviously that's for armor, sets him on fire, damages health. And he has pool. Now is that single enemy? It says enemies. I'm sure it has to be upgraded for it, but still they're close enough that possibly that might work. I have uh, throw and tech armor for now. And we'll look at skill choose and all that when I tell us to, because whatever. I'll throw him. Whoop, whoop. Oh, nice. Okay, so they did... Oh, man. Again, the first game, as fun as it was, had some issues. And already they're fixing it. So in this game, your powers are like... Grenades or frisbees or even better. You can th I remember, you can throw them behind cover and stuff. Oh, it's just going to be so much better. Okay. What does he have now? Pool? Did he just use pool? Is this pool cooldown that quick? Oh, it's up, but I can't do anything. Well, I guess here's the test. Will it go over? Because he's on the ground. Come on over. No. But I think if I aim up here, that's right. I have like aim. Because like it'll shoot it here and then go down. Gravity's one mean mother, huh? It hit him. Okay. okay, I didn't see like the ball, but it worked. Your questions. What do you want to know? You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. That explains the minor face changes that no one will notice but me. They had to repair my face. Well, can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two I will say, I think, I think the eyes are bothering the me. Scientists. There's such a minor Best change, but like, goodbye. I was used to the other eyes. Urgh. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. Well, they look good there. I was getting ready for some shut eye, then bam, bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. No, oh, Presley. Else, including the non -alliance Man, crew, we barely bonded with him, but he was a Quarry, key part. They all made it out alive. He was second in command. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Uh, there was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. Mm. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind, you need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. 
Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Let's see. Can I like arc it around the corner? Yep, just like that. Does sound like pretty bad acting, so yeah, and still feels like this is a setup. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Like what they're doing right now. Exactly. Oh, I bet they're gonna make me choose like whatever, if I save someone or not, and I'll be part of the test. Yep. I refuse to let that happen. That confirms that this is all test. Shepard, down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Alright, so we get Unity by default. Revives any wounded fallen squad member. Okay. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Ooh, we definitely don't want to leave she her behind. Behind. The mechs behind. were all over that sector. <laughs> There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Alright, let's see. We got a group here. Um... Oh, he has overload. Well, they don't have shields. But, you know, fuck it. Oh, they won't be use overload anyway. Okay. So, uh, overpower shields, synthetic enemies, yeah. That's it. Let's get out of here. So I guess I should mention right now, yes, of course, I do have mods installed. Just like before, okay, you can check out the mod down. list in the description. This is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. We dealt with Cerberus in the first game. They were doing a whole bunch of shit, including killing one of the admirals. You told me you were with the Alliance. I don't like being played for a sucker. I didn't lie to you, Commander. I was with the Alliance before I joined Cerberus. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. Interesting, I had no option everything. to like say I Drugs. know who they are. It's either I don't know who they are or oh you lied to me. 
Oh, here we go. I called never work for service. Yeah. Um. Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Duh. Nobody knows who he really is. It was really? He wasn't born elusive before. man? Kind of Shocking. Stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and All right, time so again with the uh, mods. I'm sure he'll be there are more mods than I installed Mass Effect 1. It's not um, much farther to the shuttle. The hell? But, uh, again, yeah, generally speaking, there's like bug fixes. There's like DLC timing things, so I don't get like DLC early. You know, making it just, you know, smoother experience that way. Um... Offhand, I don't think I really added much else. But again, just check the mod list there. Uh, nothing really too majorly game changing. Just basically just some fixes, quality of life things like that. Of course, I could have added. Anyone who plays the game will know uh, the Miranda butt scene, but I didn't. That's what reminded me <laughs> when they said we can't leave her behind. I was like, oh yeah, Miranda behind butt scene mods. I mean, the butt scene. There's just a. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Oh shit. What? What am I? Oh, I'm matching. Uh. Oh fuck that. How do I click? I was not ready. Well, sorry, game. You didn't even tell me what we were doing. God damn it. All right. So, uh, matching that. There was one at the beginning up there. Why is it cancel? I don't. I'm confused. Why it's just canceling it? I'm not hitting. I'm just hitting like up and down, like to move. Like, am I supposed to click? I can't. Uh, it, I. I'm confused. Am I? There's certain ones I'm not allowed to hit. I don't know what's happening. They didn't explain this. Like, I know what we're supposed to do. Okay, yeah. So I'm not even seeing the X's. I'm too busy looking at other shit. I see. What? I don't understand. Oh, it's spate. Okay. Dude. Ah, uh, well. I was clicking, I was hitting enter, like I couldn't figure out what button to press. I was here at space, because space is everything in this, but like, goddamn. I don't know why there was no tutorial for this one. Alright, next. Uh oh. Well, I can't. I'm stuck. There. There's more? Man, I mean, I, what a clusterfuck. I knew what to do, but goddamn, it was all about getting the fucking buttons. Alright. But I could look at the skill tree in the sense that I have extra experience since we imported the character. It would pay off early, but. I'll still wait. You've been spotted. What we got? We got someone in the back. They're both hacked mechs. There's a third person somewhere. Let's have you go ahead and throw him into the other guy. So that they're grouped up enough to get overloaded. Okay. Let's keep her cam down, I guess, for this mission, but probably sh didn't need to. Oh well. I've committed to it. Okay. Hostile forces have engaged. Ah! Miss. Oh. Right, I gotta wait for him. Ah! Okay, so this is another mod that. I saw the description of, and I didn't do it because I wanted to see about the game, and I probably just keep it as is. But apparently, there's shared cooldowns. Because the mod was like, you know, change shared cooldowns to individual cooldowns, and I was like, whatever. We'll start the game, see what it's like, and I'll probably keep it just because two and three apparently are both like this. But yeah, it seems like you share cooldowns, so I can't use throw and then immediately use tech armor. But yeah, you see right there. They're all on cooldown now because I used one. Alright, that's interesting. Yeah, I probably won't change that. 
I'll just keep it since it was designed that way. Those are things, again, I'm, I'm doing bug fixes, maybe quality of life things, but not necessarily changing the game. I didn't do any gun mods, you know, add guns and armors from Mass Effect 3, like, none of that shit. Oh, fuck, was this the right way? God damn it. Come on, through here. We're fuck. almost at the... Miranda, but you were... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Hmm. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort. Why is her fucking life forehead and hair like so big? You really think Wilson's capable of that? He's weird. Not anymore. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on. Did they change your face? Obviously, it's all based on My memory from nine years you. ago, but. You mean the elusive man? I know you Between her eyes and her forehead and her oh, hair, it just looks odd. Have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Well, I'm not going to go backwards because I chose the right path by accident. Convenient that you show. There's something to get back there. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life, Wilson figured out I was helping you, and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon, if you ask, Wilson. Fuck. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of I don't know if my this. hair is the right color, too. I swear it should be darker. Oh, well. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Damn it. It was nothing, probably just like a codec or something, but fuck. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. I mean, we were already told it was two years, so... This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when slavers hit Mindwar. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? That's not really a good way. Hey, I'm gonna tell you your history. Do you remember it? Yeah, I remember it. Everyone's screaming. Gunfire. Blood everywhere. I was the only one who stayed focused on survival. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. There you go. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams and then he tells was us. killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Hmm. We should move on. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Am 
my tech armor. Man is cool visual. In the other room. All right. Well, fuck it. I guess we'll start. Oh no. It's, okay, I can't use the inventory and shit anyway. All right. So we weren't even able to do that. Oops. So tab is fan console, I guess. Uh, but I can do it here. Is the hotkey not working? So the hotkey is disabled, I'm assuming, but you can do this stuff. That's weird. I'll have to verify that once we're out in the other area to make sure the hotkeys aren't bugged. But yeah, technically I have points I can spend. Wow, is this how it looks? Okay. Got our Renegade and Paragon for uh, importing. Alright. We'll deal with that. The time comes. I keep the elusive man waiting. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. I guess I should go. Uh, like wait until we have party members, but it shouldn't really matter again. I'm gonna go with my basic shit anyway. Uh, armor. Oh, change your appearance. Oh shit, that is cool. All right, awesome. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I mean... Obviously, you're like a, a really casual... I like this. That's fine. Oh, no. Okay, so this isn't cosmetics. It is actual uh, armor. I see. Is it? Right? Let me let me back out. Well, that's right. I can't look at fucking inventory right now. So this has to be actual armor and not just cosmetics. Alright. So 5% health. 5% health. 5% weapon damage. Recon. Wow. Um... Go with the N7 helmet, they're both the same stat, so. So this is one of the mods I had that uh, puts your stats above the description, because apparently by default it's description and then stats. So again, it's those type of things again, quality of life, bug fixes, things like that that I installed for mods. Um, so yeah, go with that one. We got material. Oh, okay. I like this one, doesn't really matter at all. Hint. Hint is good. Oh, so good. Normal. You like the black and red. Ooh, the yellow, the gold. Oh, good normal for now. Well, I'm tempted to go black, actually. Then you have those ones, too. Yeah, that's cool. Patterns. Oh, wow. Wow, I mean, there's only three for now for this specific one, but still. in pattern colors. Alright, that is awesome. Yeah, and they changed, like, everything. They, they upgraded everything in this game. Which one am I, I'm assuming I'm supposed to go this way, because then this is red. It means I can't open it. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? 
I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Yeah, seems Hundreds weird. Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. But why just Nobody's humans? Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. I mean, plausible, but don't trust him. Is this the same? If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. So it's interesting. I'm seeing these dialogue choices changing position, which is not okay. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Well, there we go. Now we do this. Alright. Let's wait for all this stuff. Squad. A lot of stuff here, damn. Alright. Love your poetry to summary, yes. Alright, so. Again, looking into this, uh, my current plan. Again, not knowing like you know how many points you get and all that, so uh, I figured I'd focus on at least two. Uh, so warp and overload. I didn't realize we gave us throw by default, but that's nice. That means we have it. Um, so that means I'm probably going to kind of ignore cryoblast at least for now. I do remember liking this, but I don't know if it was two or three. Um, so then we have our ability tech armor and then our passive defenders. Let's go over it because some things did change. Um, throw is just normal old throw. You upgrade it. Changing the force. And then once you get to four points, you uh, get like a modified version. Um, but 
At least for now, we're not focusing on throw. So we have warp. Warp is an ability that did change in this game. Uh, in the first game, it made enemies take more damage. Um, in this, they haven't like you know showed it yet, but this game changes um, or like adds another type of health bar. So in this game, we'll have health, we'll have armor. Uh, and we'll have shields. Is there a fourth one? Biotic barriers? I guess there's four of them. So health, armor, shields, biotic barriers. And each of your abilities and even like weapons and shit do different things to different things. Which is why our pistol said... I'm making it up because I can't remember. But I think the pistol said it did damage to health but less damage to armor and shields. Um, so certain things will do more damage to certain things. Um, so warp is good against armor and barriers, uh, and it stops health regeneration, which is pretty nice. Uh, it is an AOE, so it's an AOE that stops regen and is really good against armor and biotic barriers. All right. Um, the upgrades are heavy warp which the damage is increased, or unstable warp, which is uh, increases the radius of explosions, uh, which leads us to another topic that, again, they'll talk about. In this game, you can uh, make people explode with combinations. Now, I can't remember how it works. I'm pretty sure, and they'll, they'll definitely tell us this. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like if you use two biotic skills together, it'll be a biotic explosion. And if you use two like tech skills together, it'll be a tech explosion. So by doubling up on, it doesn't have to be the same move. It can be overload, overload, but instead it could be overload and some other tech move. It'll make them explode. Um, and that's going to be like a really fun and important thing to be doing because you're, uh, you're always going to be priming someone and then detonating that prime. Uh, so not only are you doing things just like, you know, to remove shields and all that, but then you're also doing things to get that explosion going. So it just adds another awesome layer of tactics. Uh, so again, with warp, the first one makes warp do more damage. The second one makes those detonations uh, have a bigger blast radius. Okay. Um, and this is where it tells you about the detonating. Uh, so detonates any biotic powers causing further damage. Yes, so it, that confirms it is like biotic plus biotic. So that would be tech plus tech. Um, so yeah. Uh, the other offensive ability, obviously we have overload here. Uh, good for shields and for damaging synthetic enemies. It then will stun synthetic enemies. Uh, oh, and then it also overheats. Wow. So this is a combination of a couple skills from the first game. So this will, again, do damage to shields, to th synthetics, and overheat weapons. That is really good. Uh, the upgrades greatly increases the damage and then causes synthetic enemies to explode when killed or increases the radius. Yeah, that's obviously what I'm going to go for. Uh, there's Cryoblast, which for now I feel like I'm not going to use, but we'll see. Um, as it sounds, Cryoblast freezes enemies. Um, and I believe, does it tell you this? It doesn't, but I think when they're frozen, they take more damage, because obviously. Uh, the upgrade, multiple foes, or longer duration. Uh, the reason I'm not going to use this is because offhand, I'm pretty sure you have to have like all of their other defensives stripped. So no shield, no armor, uh, stuff like that. Again, this is where we'll see as we keep playing the game. But I believe this requires only health, but I could be wrong there. Uh, lastly, in terms of abilities, is tech armor. And this is something that's actually got some really cool mechanics that it doesn't tell you about. But first and foremost, this is just our shield, just like the first game. Uh, we pop this on, it gives us a shield. The difference is, this shield lasts until it's gone. So it's not on a timer, like the first game was. Also, once it is gone it causes an explosion around me. 
So it really encourages me to be, you know, closer to enemies. So we pop a shield, it stays on forever until it goes down. When it does go down, it explodes. There's that to it. What's not mentioned, once you get tech armor 3, this, when anytime I use this, it's going to reset the abilities of all my companions. Again, it's not mentioned anywhere, but that's what happens. Once I get to tech armor 3, it's not only going to give me armor and then the explosion, it's going to allow me to reset all of my companion skills whenever I activate it. So that, again, awesome. Uh, and now this is one I really debated back and forth, and we'll still see. I, already ha I, I think I'm going to go Assault, but like it's really going to be based on a fuel thing, because both of these are awesome. So, Assault Armor makes it so that uh, the explosion is bigger, more damage, and after the explosion happens, which means they shot me enough to drain my shields, it gives me another shield. So it increases the explosion damage and radius, while also giving me a second shield after my first shield goes down. Right now I'm leaning towards taking that, um, but the other option is that uh, it increases the armor's strength, so I have more of a shield, and it gives me uh, an increase to powers while the shield's active. And this is why I was debating it, because obviously I do like to increase the powers, but like, it sounds like tech armor really is more useful, not that you have to play this way, but more useful if you're using it both for the armor and the explosion. Thus, I'm being closer, thus I'm probably using guns more, um, but also just being closer means I'm using the explosion more often, which means getting the increased explosion damage and radius, as well as then getting the shield back after it explodes, all that sounds much more synergistic, uh, but it's going to be a feel thing. And again, just because it's more synergistic doesn't mean I have to do it. But I was definitely debating between these two. Right now I'm leaning towards Assault, though. And finally, we have our passive here, um, which gives us increased health, better recharge, and then better or more Paragon and Renegade points. So, just nice. Um, and then we have um, another one that I was kind of debating here. Uh, the, the upgrade is it either reduces uh, cooldowns and gives you better scores for your Paragon Renegade, or it only slightly reduces cooldowns but increases your powers even more. So, you know, you can double up the tech armor in this to get both of the power increases. Um, but again, just like the tech armor, I was debating this one, and I'm kind of contemplating going the other way. Uh, not getting the power boost, but instead getting the increased uh, charge time. Because one of the combinations is not only am I using my powers more often, I'm specifically using tech armor more often. Which again, at tech armor 3, resets all of my companion abilities. So the more I use tech armor, the more my companion abilities are resetting. So not only do I have faster uh, ability resets, so do my companions. So for now, I'm leaning towards that. Now all this shit I just threw at you, we'll go over it when I actually take it. But that is the quick overview of all the abilities and skills at the moment. Um, hint, hint, wink, wink, I can get more later. Uh, and I already have a plan for that. But for now, the obvious choice is we at least get warp one. Do I just click it like that? How do I... Double click it? How do I take it? How do I? <laughs> I don't know how to take it. It says click purchase, but like, there is no purchase. Are you not allowed to take new abilities? Oh, requ oh I'm just dumb. Okay, required throw rank two, required tech armor two. I see. Okay. So I need throw two. And uses the two points. To then unlock warp. Okay, so again, for now, now we'll just go over it as we're using them. Uh, warp, for the time being, obviously it's going to be good against armor, barriers, um, it'll stop regening, it'll be good small AoE, but good AoE damage, so awesome. 
Next, we get upgraded tech armor, which will then unlock overload. And now, the badassery of the Sentinel is I can deal with every situation here. If they have shields, I overload them. If they have armor or barriers, I warp them. So right now I can strip all... What, what term should I use for this? All... Because I want to say armor, but armor is a type. Uh, all whatevers. All extra protection. There you go. All protection, we'll say. So I can strip any type of protection between warp and overload. Uh, while also having those other bonuses, again, stopping regen, um, doing more damage to synthetics. So that's good. Uh, all right. So I could immediately take tech armor three because again, this will allow my companion skills to reset. It doesn't say that, but that's what it does. Uh, I could possibly start getting the, the paragon bonuses, the renegade bonuses, just for that stuff. Overload 2 allows me to stun synthetics. And then 3, of course, overheats. Lots of good options. Lots of good options. Mm hmm. So for now, I'm going to be ignoring throw and cryoblast. So my original idea was potentially to take at least one point here just to get these extra uh, ranks. Well, again, getting health and recharge. I could get tech armor 3 then while I'm here. Alright, that's the plan. Uh, Paragon or Defender 1 gives me some health, better recharge, 20% more uh, Paragon Renegade scores. And then tech armor 3 increases the armor, which once again is both defensive, giving me armor. Uh, but then offensive, once the armor is down, I explode in a radius. And then the even better part, not mentioned here, is it will also reset my companion skills. So I have defense and offense and utility in tech armor. Um, I have shield and synthetics in overload. I have armor and barrier with warp. And I'm assuming, it tells you right here, I'm assuming throw, can throw be detonated? I don't know if warp, because it's not listed. It doesn't list all of them though. Pool and singular, so I assume throw can be detonated. So I can use throw on someone and then warp them possibly. Because I'd have to see, I, I, I feel like the, the abilities mention if they're detonators or primers. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any others on me. Okay, so Overload doesn't mention it. Maybe, does Overload not detonate in Prime? I, I could have sworn, maybe it's Mass Effect 3 that they all mention if they're primers or detonators. And this one, only sometimes they do. We'll find out. All right. That's why you see the armor is on me, because it's no longer timer-based. It's just on until I lose it. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Are you naturally this bitchy or is it just me? <laughs> I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. 
But the elusive man wouldn't well, allow it. She's uh, he was upfront about it that. Might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. And it really highlights, again, so from the first game we know Cerberus was doing experiments, uh, really bad experiments, and they had no issues with, like, killing to do those experiments. They were experimenting on people and all of that stuff. Um, which is interesting because I can't remember in the first game, but they at least mention it right now. Um, but Cerberus is all about the advancement of humanity. Emphasis on humanity, aka they're racist. They don't give a shit about other races. They only care about humanity's progression. Which is why it's kind of interesting that they were experimenting on all types of things, including humans, in the first game. Um, but that goes back to here. So they resurrect me, and she immediately says that she would have put a control chip in me. Which, ignoring the fact saying that she would do that, shows that they can do that. They would have no issues putting control chips in people's heads, forcibly resurrecting them, and then forcibly controlling them. That, more than anything, is showing you who Cerberus is. And she, she's just saying it outright. She's not hiding it. Um, and again, they're using it in the context of me saying, oh, he wouldn't let that happen to you. But that implies... That they would do it to other people and the fact that she's so nonchalant about it she's just throwing it out as if it was a normal thing yeah i put a control chip in your brain so that's cerberus that's who resurrected us tell me a little about yourself worried about my qualifications i can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards take your pick did you and jacob serve together in the alliance no the elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age how old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. This is going to be a really interesting it, uh, do it. dynamic since I'm a renegade and I'm not going to romance her. I'm assuming I romanced her the first time through. I would imagine that's what I did. <laughs> How could you not? Um, but now we're not because we're female and we can't. Damn it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. Oh, One fuck, chance. Sid. No, I must say that. I'm still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. For reasons I just mentioned. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, ah. we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge yep. of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. So kind of the Alliance versions of... Well, I mean, not really, but, you know... They're, they're the, the, the secret versions of us. But again, it's, <laughs> they could just be dismissed. Like, nope, we don't know them at all. Uh, Alright. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Mm -hmm. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Not really a fan of these cards popping up all the time. I could get for the tutorial, but for the other shit. Whoa, okay. This is loud, too. Mission summary. Import bonuses from us importing a character. Oh. 
Got a bunch of materials. Okay. Uh, and we got the grenade launcher. This is another mod uh, that listed this stuff, I guess. I don't know if it naturally did it, but it, again, changed the stats. It didn't change the stats, but showed you stats. Um, so this shows that this specific weapon, like I was saying, does more damage to armor, shields, and barrier. So it doesn't do more damage to health, because there's the four uh, types there. Health, which would be like fire. Uh, armor, which I think fire is also armor. Shields and barrier. All right. Semi-automatics, that's what we use in the mission. We get credits. All right. Do we get like these cards after each mission? We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappeared. And we've got no target to go after. That is weird. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. We're gonna find out who did this and take them down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. Alright, new weapons. Cerberus has provided additional weapons. Alright. The hotkeys still don't work. Do they just not work? E binds. Oh, there are no hotkeys for that. What? Really? Why would they remove the hotkeys for this shit? And then Will's going through, and there's no hotkey for grenades. I'm guessing there's no grenades, because uh, they now have power for it. There's no hotkey for first aid. I did not notice. Yeah, there's no hotkeys for that stuff. Wow, wow, that's weird. They just completely moved the hotkeys for that. I don't understand why. All right. So where's our inventory, then? How do we change our inventory? They'll tell us at some point. That's weird. Alright, so we got Miranda and Jacob. So Jacob has pool incendiary. Uh health and weapon damage. Increases his health, increases his weapon damage. He has barrier. That's what we used to have. We now have tech armor. Um so this is just like first game, so again, his only lasts a few seconds. Increases to absorb more, or the duration. Okay. Man, I'm so glad. Be tech armor is so much better. Holy shit. Uh, and then incendiary ammo. Incendiary ammo is good for armor and health. So... That just increases the amount of damage for the dot and then the, the full one gives the squad the ammo I'll probably push to that immediately we will need one more point but getting the squad to have incendiary ammo sounds much more useful than anything else I can imagine yeah we're gonna do that right now so for now he'll have the upgraded incendiary ammo the next time he levels up he can give the whole squad that easy Oh, she said two same things I have, warp and overload. Uh, and then she has health, weapon damage, squad health, squad weapon damage. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Uh, increases squad leadership, giving increased combat bonus to squad weapon. 
or gives increased health to the squad. Okay, I'd probably go weapon, depending on how squishy we are, but okay, that actually seems pretty important to get that. Then she has slam. Once We have to wait until we're, uh, she's loyal. There's a whole loyalty system with this, okay. Biology lifts the target and slams them to the ground. Greatly increases slam force. Improves uh, slam incapacitation. Oh, I didn't know they got incapacitated for a while. So it slams them to the ground and then incapacitates them for a bit, I guess. Maybe it's like the lift duration they're referring to? Alright. Well, I mean, I could get these increased, but like it makes sense to me. Going up here gives us party health and weapon damage, and fully maxing that makes a lot of sense too. So, I mean, again, for me, I think we plan too, too far ahead here, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think she would. I, I think I'd rather just get this, just have everyone have these increases at all times. Sure. So, just like him, we'll go up to three, and then next level, we'll get four. Um, so, increasing everybody's health and weapon damage. Right. Awesome. Uh, let's see. So I click on it and it changes the pistol she uses. Alright, so she's using the Shuriken Machine Pistol. Three burst round, effective against shield and barriers, weak against armor. This one's the opposite. Okay. Uh, what's he got? He's got a shoddy. Short range and effective at long range, very effective against shield and biotics, weak against armor. Or he has a heavy pistol. Okay. I guess if I keep him with the shoddy, he's doing shield and biotic. I can let her do this for the armor. So both of them are taking out different ones. Um, let me test you out which one I like. Cold. So we do have ammo in this game. Okay. Did that switch? Oh, there. I do like the burst, I just feel like it's going to be missing. That is a pretty decently tight spread, but yeah. I'll go with this one. It's not switching it. Hello? There. So she's tearing armor, he's tearing uh, the other two. And I'm tearing the other two, because I can go ahead and tear armor with this. I think I can do everything. And then, uh, eventually, well, he's going to have Inferno uh, ammo on himself. Oh, yeah, no. Because that will allow it to, uh, I'm assuming, does it overwrite being effective against shields and barriers? I don't know. Otherwise, he's effective against everything. All right. Save. You can scroll to change that and just reload everything. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. No. Yeah. 
hearts there. Can't go in that. And credits. Good that. We got Loki mechs. Sure. Sounds like Ben respects. Strange. Security systems were disabled at the other colonies. Please reconsider your aggressive. Ah. And that resets that. Yeah. Okay. We got these two here. Shields. Oh. Can my uh, shields get down that quick? Probably, because there were a bunch of them shooting at me. Those mechs shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on sight. Hold that to display. Where? We're not alone. Oh, on the compass down here. Yeah. So there's incentive, obviously, to use tech armor just to keep it on. But then, even if I still have it on, I could use it just to reset their shit. So yeah, the global cooldown there. But as long as we're not in the middle of, like, right about to start a fight. Otherwise, if we are just about to start a fight, it might be better to wait. Let them use their abilities first, I don't know. Alright, so... I'm kind of like intentionally getting closer because I want to see the explosion. I didn't see it before I popped it. But it happened so quick I got shot like 10 bullets within a millisecond. Oh! Stop right there. What are they doing? You said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Shepard? Tally? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Right off the bat. Where is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me, it was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Oh. Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his soot CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Ooh, Tally. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. It's a little sad that we can get more of a but you were dead type of moment. She has kind of accepted it, but alright. 
next year. Again, he has that on at all times until I turn it off. Okay, good. I have my shit on. Hostiles detected. I'm about to explode. I like just let it go. Yes, let it go. Okay. Use overload on him. Impressive. We Two of them there. Go. I get protective. Oh, so sh see, this is the case right here. So we can't use a uh, pool because it has a shield on it. Oh, fuck. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. Why? Have expected this. I mean, I get they don't trust Cerberus, because they're racist. As in Cerberus, it's racist. Um, okay. They haven't said why they want to find this guy anyway. He just happened to be here. The enemy at right there. Enemy down. She then resets that so she can do it again. Yes. Oh, yes. yeah. And they have shields, so we can't pull One them. Want to get to Vito first? Get your squad into cover, and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Grabbing cover. Heading right. to cover. Probably will never use that, but hey. Oh, I guess we have to use it right now. Taking cover. On it. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Fucked. Tally the only one that survives, that yeah. Heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Alright, so this is where you can see he has shields and armor and health. Now I'm not sure if you take armor, do you have to use shields first? That's what it seems like. 
Oh, who you can tell them to use an ability and then cancel it. Oh. Now let's see if there's a, a tech explosion. Okay, I don't think there was, but it, it does look like it did more damage. So maybe that was a tech explosion. Oh, if I can get close to him when I, I explode. What the happened there? Alright, so that was the explosion. Yeah, radius right now is small. It's alright. Warp! Oh, that's right, I forgot it has shared cooldown. Yep, that's okay. That was on me. Again, the cooldowns are now all shared. So they still have their individual cooldowns, like, you know, armor is maybe 10 seconds, pool is 2 seconds, but you no longer can use one after the other. You have to wait for the top cooldown for the entire thing, which comes into place. So that means I want to use tech armor last. Unless, like, in that case, I wanted to use it first, because the uh, whole shit happening there. And I would like to use it here, but I have to wait for this to go up. I think it's worth doing those to be done first. So I rather would save my uh, shit for warp. Alright, because then warp him to the... Why is it not? Hello? I can't... can't cancel it. There you go. Warp. And shoot the warp. Oh, it didn't cast tech. Okay, I'm confused how that got cast. It shouldn't have, but all right. I've got him. About to get hot. Oh, <laughs> so they explode and they do do damage when they explode. Good to know. Oh, rip quarians. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Oh, hey, so if you have full, uh... Metagel, they give you money instead. It's useful. Heavy weapon ammo. Oh, okay, because so I've been using that. This looks interesting. Research data recovered. Oh. Okay. Is there any reason to break these? No, they're looting them. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Swarms. Uh oh. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms oh. Coming. Storm coming. Oh, I completely Storm forgot about this. Oh, shit. Escape. There's no. going to be prompts Can't at quick time events. Monsters will find you. Swarms will find you. Human, where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms, they took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. 
but I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. A new species to deal with then. Or a new, like, humanoid species, because obviously we now have these swarms as well, but uh, the Collectors. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Yeah. They find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or Could they be. were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Or that, the human yeah. human colonies have been hit. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. That was a lot. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, because we trust Tally and we can again get that information off of his thing. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Alright, so we got collectors. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data. But it's a surprising olive branch, given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Yeah, confirm, meaning you already knew? Tell me what you know about these Collectors. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. 
Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I yeah. won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. <laughs> uh, I like all these options. Keep your list. I want people I trust. Yeah, best option. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Tichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Interesting. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Very interesting, working for the Shadow Broker. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. There she is. It's 
good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. So recruit a scientist to build the upgrade for increased heavy weapon capacity. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian Professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are oh you? shit. I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Yes, Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them, especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Yep, use the galaxy map. Private terminal to get status updates. Okay. Oh, so we don't have an inventory menu. You have to do it from the ship. Huh. Okay. Interesting change. By the professor to research upgrades for your squad's equipment. Alright. That's all updates. Let's just start from up here. We're getting all the quests to uh, find the people. We got the DLC, the two DLC characters there. All their stuff. Fits are always a pain in the ass. All right. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Uh huh. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. 
How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me yeah. from answering that Figured. question. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Ooh. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will oh, be released to me. Okay. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Yeah. It might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Let's discuss something else. Ready. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, this seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather? That's me. Look around here first. Uh, chambers. I'm Kelly Chambers. I've hey, been Kelly as Chambers. Your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. 
I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now, that's an enticing thought. Anything wow. else you'd like to talk I about? I didn't think we'd do it this early. Um, so yeah, I was looking into who the romance in this game. And I'm thinking we're going to romance Kelly Chambers. I better go. Okay. But I did not think we'll immediately off the bat she'd be flirting with me and then I'd be flirting with her. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you... Welcome all aboard, right. Commander. That's one room. I don't know. I guess my private terminal's going to be in the... Uh, this... Oh, they're right here. Okay. Uh, team status. Oh, it just tells me this stuff. And then these are the dossiers to recruit them. I'm sure, that's going to be the uh, side quests. They tell him, tell us his name, but the other ones they uh. Oh, okay. Uh, cycle appearance. Oh, for ear versus okay, and he doesn't have a uh, casual appearance. Upgrades. Upgrades improve your squad's power, weapon, ship. Oh, this is the research stuff that we, we were getting. Okay. Unread messages. A whole lot of shit here. Anderson. On the off chance rumors are true and you're actually alive, I need you to come and talk to you in the Citadel. A lot has changed. Okay. Uh, deal struck with Zaid. We've reached an agreement with the mercenary. This is DLC. Uh, lost contact with survey ship. A survey ship with Cerberus connections has gone missing. Okay, so this is just the, the DLC stuff, the missions and the, the gear they're giving me. Yeah. And here's Kasumi. Great cost and effort track down the master thief Kasumi. Hello, Commander Shepard. Thank you for your updated uh, documentation. Status change from deceased to alive. Hmm. Uh, you have been given a uh, hundred thousand credits. All right. Awesome. They're all considered red? Oh, I have to hit mark as red, okay. Alright. We'll go in here. Oh, that's an elevator. Is there anywhere that's not an elevator? Alright, we got this here. So here is... In dialogue. What's this area of the ship? Oh, no, okay. This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design, and manufacturing. We have the capability to manufacture several new models. So 
So we have the grenade launcher, or the one that we were just giving in the email, the arc projector. So it's neutral damage versus the uh, protections. Single shot. Less damage, less fire rate. Okay, so it's chain lightning. You shoot someone, it chains to them. Um, I think I'd rather have this, like the damage bonuses and all that shit. Yeah, don't have any other pistols. I don't have an SMG yet. Okay, the shotgun Just sitting on a table for some reason. Oh. All the weapons. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Commander, can I help you with something? I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Save the Citadel like you, but what's the same? A good deeds like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. The whole <laughs> thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Mm, we'll talk later. Fine. Commander. Okay. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay and yeah, can pass only one quantum expensive. bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To okay. contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. Makes sense. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no yeah. matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. That's actually pretty innovative and realistic in the sense how they described it. Theoretically, yeah, okay. Why aren't these used everywhere? Oh, yeah. Each quantum pair in it. To contact a hundred different worlds. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Oh, and I can open it? Wait, oh, that's no, the door. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Don't use the Commander, tech lab until we get him. Your private terminal. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. 
While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Oh, okay. Go to our personal cabin. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Ah, uh, okay, so these are trophies. I don't know in this game if there's like a, a, a thing for doing a certain number of missions with people. I don't think there is. I don't have to do that. Still could. I don't have to. She said we had unread messages. That fucking liar. She just wanted to see me again. Uh, we've got music. Yeah, this is just customizing. It's not, or I mean, it is armor. It's not, uh, it's purely cosmetic. Okay. Yeah. Wow, they didn't get to do the whole cutscene. Huh. Look who it is. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. So I think we'll actually be doing that then, okay. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived well, a I mean, full I life. didn't survive that. No you did. Regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. There you go, fine brandy. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Access to the AI core is restricted. Hmm. Hmm. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. A gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Well, you're already of service because you have replaced the position where Caden was standing. Do you have everything you need? I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Aw, oh, shit. You've got Bring more to worry some, uh, about than grocery shopping on here. the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. 
If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Where'd that flash come from. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't <laughs> no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Alright, oh, Miranda. Commander. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by I was about to say, yeah. Who keeps Cerberus, Cerberus is check. not the Nobody. Alliance. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division but not all cerberus operations use the same protocols we try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality that was the military division i guess it would make sense that's why we're searching like all those bio weapon type of things where they're looking at all the creatures to try to do all that shit but it's still cerberus in the end and also you told us that you'd put a chip in us so what kind of resources does cerberus have we're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else yeah, people right. might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. 
What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Let's see if there's anything else. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Right, we got one more floor. Actually, no, we have uh, these rooms. Men's restroom. The women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. The port observation deck is closed until needed. Access to life support is restricted. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attacks. The starboard observation deck is closed until needed. Engineering. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the- Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council oh. backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Carry on. 
Will do, Commander. Okay. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you she would. Anything down here? Hey, uh, come on. Was there more? Cargo? Access to this room is currently restricted. All right, I think. Oh, here you go. Which this oh, area it's of the thing. ship, Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. All right, makes sense. All right, so it seems that like we have a bunch of uh, no messages for you, options of where to go. Quick save, manual save. Okay. Obviously, journal first. All right. So, side quests. Things we just picked up, and then this. I'm not sure if this is DLC or not. Um, I'm assuming it is based on the fact that we got it via that email. Uh, but we have Project Firewalker. I think first things first. Uh, it makes sense to recruit our companions. <laughs> um, so this is the overarching one. Do you do that to expand it? Yeah, assemble your team. Otherwise, we have the team. Go to the Citadel for the Council. Makes sense to uh, get Solus. They told us in mission. We also know Solus opens the tech wing, which I'm assuming will unlock research for us. I think we'll get Solus first, and maybe we'll uh, potentially go for... Maybe the DLC one, Zai, Kasumi, I don't know, we'll see. But I think going him first makes sense. Alright, um... Afterlife. Oh! We're going to the Citadel. Time to reveal... That we're alive. Alright. Awesome. Oh, I can't move them. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Wasn't ready for that. Um Archangel Professor Veteran. Which which one are we doing? He is Professor. Okay. We got fuel depots. Is this fuel or is this how much we've explored? Am I supposed to like go to planets? Inter or this is just a test right now. Scanner. So this is the new thing. You scan. I might wait to scan. Oh, fuck. Maybe they'll introduce it. If not, okay. So escape isn't back out of that menu. Escape closes the menu. Different than the first game. Are these like, uh... Oh, Omega. Oh, we're not going to the Citadel. So, oh, Afterlife is in Omega. I thought Afterlife was in the Citadel. Okay, Omega. Built in the mined out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents. Time Station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws. Space Station's original design, given way to haphazard expansion. There is no central government. Nobody can recall a time there ever was.
we leveled up. Uh, well, first things first, we are going to go ahead and get the incendiary ammo so that we can have the party have incendiary ammo. Bam. And we are taking the squad one, so your entire squad can use this. Next, increase pool. Or this one. Get some health and weapon damage, it will unlock barrier. Oh, oh, no, it's only when he's loyal. Um. That becomes AoE. Do I want AoE pool or do I want him to have health and weapon damage? I think health and weapon damage makes sense. That's actually a big amount of health. Because he definitely looks squishy based on just looking at the numbers compared to me. Oh, I swear this was higher. It's not worth it. Alright. Uh, and now she's getting her Cerberus offer ma uh, officer maxed out. Because it's going to... Well, now I have to cho uh, choose. Yeah, I'd rather just get the weapon damage. We could increase our health, but I'm assuming you know we'll become less squishy with armor and all that. So let's just go ahead and get the uh, increased weapon damage for the whole party. Only seven and a half percent more. But still worth it, I think. Fuck it. Sure. Alright. Awesome. And now for me, this is where I could save up for the tech armor, but I think I'm gonna hold out on that because I still don't really know which one I want. Again, going overload, each upgrade gives us something. This stuns synthetics, this uh, overheats weapons. Whereas warp, not that's bad, but it just upgrades. Um, and defender gives health, more points. My brief plan I was thinking of going Defender early. I know it doesn't matter, but like, just the idea of increased Renegade and Paragon, oh, Renegade Paragon, it doesn't matter, but I kind of want that. But also the health and the recharge, but honestly, it was just because, hey, I get more points, so the sooner I fill it up, you know. That was my original plan. For now, I'll do it. Fuck it. I mean, to be fair, again, maxing out is also good. Because it's going to also reduce the powers even more. But we'll see. Uh, squad weapons I looked at already. Okay. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Batarian. Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife, now. I remember Arya. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Look, so another two companion quests to recruit. Oh, okay. Transport Depot, Entrance. Please. Well, okay. 
here's here's the first recruit. This is DLC, one of the two DLC companions, uh, Zaid. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. To the email he sent me, uh, the elusive man said he had hired a merc to help us. Bam. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. Now can we swap to him? That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. <laughs> that about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked of course he didn't. mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago. He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Okay, so he's not with us. He's on the ship. Alright. A lot of stuff at a given time. Bring firearms and antihistamines. <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, I could go and see if we uh, want to take Zaid over Jacob, because Jacob's giving us the uh, ammo. Can I? Obviously, I can't see it from here. Let me show these guys. Let's find out. Oh, this is convenient. Uh, so let's see. Info. He has concussive shot, disruptor ammo, and inferno grenade. So we'd have a different ammo type. Assault and sniper is pretty useful. Um, I don't care about the barriers. So I'd be losing pool and we'd be swapping incendiary for disruptor. I'll see what disruptor is. That's probably a good swap to me. At the very least, we'll level them up and see. No other options. All right, but he is assault rifle. Okay, twenty-five percent extra damage to all three types. Hell yeah. Uh, again, there's no hotkeys, which is so weird. So concussive shot, a massive blast that propels enemies. So it's basically push. It's a non-biotic version of push. So we swapped out pull for push, basically. And the thing is, pool can't be used with shields. Well, it, it didn't tell us it could be used with shields, so I can't say this can't be used with that either, but I feel like it probably can be used no matter what. Fully upgraded. Increase the power, blasting enemies off their feet. Larger radius. I'd probably go with that. Alright, so here's the big one. Disruptor ammo. Is it as good? I mean, Inferno is for shields and health, but you know, shields. Not shields, uh, armor. 
What's Disruptor? Disruptor is for shields and synthetics. Okay. Oh, is there more to it? Because it's changing description. What's the new thing? Synthetic overload duration. Oh, tearing through shields and incapacitating synthetics. So we use it for shields, but also stuns enemies. Oh, shit. I mean, stuns synthetics specifically, but still. And overheat. Okay, so... It's literally just, it, it makes our weapons do overload. Yeah, I'd say that's better than uh, Inferno. <laughs> wow, okay. Now again, it, it's specifically for synthetics. I'm not sure if overload only works for synthetics with like the overheating, but no matter what. Yeah, I'd say this is worth it. Then we obviously go squad for the whole squad to get this, yeah. Uh, and then of course I look at the concussive shot already. Uh oh. Undo. Good. Okay. Um, so this is his passive here. Uh, gives him health and weapon damage. And you pick either more weapon damage or health. Okay. And then this is his loyalty thing. All right. Well, yeah, we'll definitely get this. So I need a uh, concussive shot two, and then get that. Oh, we need uh, one more level, but then we'll be able to get the squad ammo. Yeah, all right, we're taking Zaid with us. Awesome. So again, concussive shot is basically push. Doesn't have a radius at all, so you have to fully upgrade it for that. Recharge time is 12 seconds. Oof. Holy shit. But he's not doing anything else. He's literally just concussive shotting, and that's it. So, all right. Let me go ahead and... Oh, I can't bring up the menu right now. Alright. Well, we're not in an area where we're able to see, but I'll give him that ammo when we get the chance. Alright, so... Okay, no hotkeys. So weird. Journal. Uh, so with this, we have to go to her. We also had Archangel. Omega. Can you sort by planet? No. Alright. And she's up here. I think let's go straight to her and like see where they push us and afterwards we can just go wherever we want because obviously it's not like we have money for this shit and well i mean technically because i imported we do have money but i'd rather just see what we get first before just buying shit omega what a piss hole at least it keeps you on your toes i've had to come here on business before i feel like i need a shower afterward in addition to normal decontamination Exit here. Transport depot. I feel like no matter what, we probably have to talk to her first because it probably restricts us from doing a lot of things. We'll talk to her. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Ari's expecting me. Did she were expecting me? What are you looking at? The man whose day I'm about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. I guess they'll come back and bite me, though. They're gonna, like, set me up. Cowards, though. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna come back with a bigger group, guaranteed. Okay. Afterlife.
All right, that's it. Is there an option to like remove helms in cutscenes? I don't even know if I'd want to, but seems like they s should have that. Doesn't look like it though. I don't remember seeing that option anywhere. Yeah. Oh, here's the brandy for the doctor. I knew a bar out on the front of the left hand. Me and some friends got stupid one night. Long story short, tempers flared, followed by pistols. We all got out, except my buddy Narco. Places like this are slaughterhouses, dressed as nightclubs. I shit you not. I don't really blocked. And up is where we go. I don't know what down is. Let's get down is first. Lower level. Yeah, it leaves. Then we go up, talk to Arya. This guy over here first, Anto. Close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one ruler. Don't fuck with Arya. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? We have the two quests for recruiting companions. First. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, mind your own damn business. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. I'm looking for Morden Solas. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel, you and half of Omega. You want him dead too? I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, 
But it sounds like they're having trouble finishing them off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. That could be our way in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after, Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. Sounds like I don't have much time to waste. You've got all the time in the world. Archangel? Not so much. All right. We have our multiple missions. So I guess I can go down here first. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Well, aren't you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight them? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? They haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just oh. one guy. Okay. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a porch out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Oh, okay. Um, so I can do this first, or we can go do the doctor stuff first. Um... I don't know if it matters. Like, again, I think, based on what we've seen in this ship, the doctor might unlock research. And I'm not sure if research happens in real time or not. So I might want to do the doctor first, just in case that's the case, because I can get the research going and then do this. Oh, I can't say... Oh. Where do we go? I have just to say. head over to the transport depot oh, okay, outside yeah. the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to do this yet. One. Hey, is this where I sign up? a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, 
Woody! Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Alright. Uh, so we can explore what's down here. Like I said in the first game, doing Renegade stuff does not mitigate Paragon stuff, so I can do both, no problem, based on what I feel like my character's doing. We're still getting points for both. So just because I did Renegade and then Paragon doesn't like make this go up and then down. You get both. So, what's out there? Uh, I'll let this music flow here while I uh, go to the bathroom and refill my water really quick. I will right, we'll be right back. Alright, so we'll look around while also doing the mission. Uh, so I have 176,000 credits already. Again, it's because we imported as well as all the mats that I think are used for the research. Alright, so we'll look around here. Once the area is declared safe for visitors, Admiral Stephen Hackett will preside. 
Hack it. Oh. Clearing the map. Let's map that way and down this way. Okay. Corvin. Bartender. Any reason to do these drinks? Oh, oh, he poisoned me. Shepard, are you all right? Hmm. How much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. Racist battalion bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans I'll bet it's the Batarians that I killed. <laughs> that bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later, he was puking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you, that's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. Oh, I will. <laughs> All right, where'd they kick me out to? Here? Fuck is this going? Okay, it's going back. No, you said he had close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first, then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Why do they call you Patriarch? Yeah. I'm like a sorry matriarch, only male. It was Arius' little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. What do you know about Aria? A few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. Oh, when Arya okay. arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. That voice Came is so familiar. Here in this bar, we tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. I think he sounds like John Goodman. It's not John Goodman, but I think that's why it sounds familiar, because it kind of sounds like John Goodman. I'm thinking, what Disney character he voiced? Was that uh, in Monsters, Inc.? Or whatever Disney character it is, is what I'm getting. But it's not really him, it just sounds like it. What made her decide to leave you alive? She doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile yeah. at. Smart. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. I should be going. Alright, well that was a good way of building her character up. Deadly, but smart. I have to investigate this. This might be another another poisoning attempt. I have to make sure. 
everything is normal here. Okay. I might have to come back later to investigate again. Get this fucker. Ready, did. And now we celebrate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Quite the dance. Alright, let's everyone here. Good. Move. Isn't a door we can go in. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gavon we know his tricks. We not cure anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. <sighs> Go away. Talk too much. Gavon's thugs get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more oh, We know Gavon's tricks. We leave. Interesting. Uh, so if I go this way, it'll connect, and I can go over there, I guess. We came from over there, we looped over here. See, so yeah, if I go this, then all over here. All right. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. No one in their right mind would pay these prices for salvaged parts. I know. That's crippling my sales. Drop your prices and I'll consider buying. Otherwise, I'll keep walking. You're right. I'll give you whatever you like for the original price. And if this gets back to Harrod, I'll deal with it then. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days. So I decided oh. to sell salvaged parts. You can see how that turned out. Carrot's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Harrod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. I'll take a peek. And yeah, we haven't really gotten anything yet. Uh... So this is research. Okay. And here are the couplings for the uh, side quest. Is this research or is this actually stuff that we get 
immediately. 10% health. Shotgun damage. And here's the actual guns. What is this? Semi-automatic of this shotgun? It's a rifle. That's a shotgun. Um I can spend 100 k immediately. I don't know if I care about heavy weapon upgrades, but definitely the uh, health upgrade. I'm gonna hold out and see if he like decreases the prices some more. Yeah, I'm not sure if those are like things that we're like we're buying them to then research, or if we actually just get them immediately. Okay, we're already here immediately. Good. Um. made of dirt, feces, and there they lay until they stumbled into the skies. The lesser races will be our downfall. The word is clear. Let none in my sight continue to live, lest their impurity displease me. The word is clear on this, friends. Humans are the hands of the Reapers, here to commit the galaxy to ruin. You're crazy. Be gone. I cast you out into the cold black. I name you unclean. Bring unto me the children. Okay, we get anything from us or not. Soldiers of the cause. Way is clear, my friends. Draw your weapons for the word. Or face its terrible wrath. The end times will come. Not with a bang. But with a sigh. Those who dip their extremities in the well of sin and vice must repent of fire, oil, and gun. Let not flesh friendships and base urges compel us to sin and neglect. The word makes its demands, and it demands obedience. And on this great station, yeah, I think he just repeats the. Uh, not repeating yet, but to me it says dialogue. We'll come back to where it just was. Right here, perfect. All right. What was the guy's name? All right. Not so. I might have something here for humans. Not much. You might snare a few tourists with these prices, but I'm not giving you a single credit. Sure, you can find things cheaper, if you're willing to risk the black market. Well, you and I could do business if you'd just charge what this crap is worth. Fine. I'll give you the uppity human discount. And that's all you're getting. Uh, increases storm speed? Uh, I guess they call it Running Storm. Okay. And we have little models for our ship. We got like collectibles for the ship here. Uh, reduces delay before shields start regenning. Blood Dragon Armor. Haha. -ha. So this is. I believe this is DLC. So they just. They must have incorporated DLC into the game. Which is nice, better than giving us all the DLC to start. So this is the, uh, this is with Dragon Age again. Peak Bioware going Dragon Age and Mass Effect at the same time. So in Dragon Age you got Mass Effect armor, and Mass Effect you get Dragon Age armor. That's this. This is power damage and shield strength. That's actually really good for me. I'm gonna buy it. Okay. I'll buy these dirt cheap collectible things. 
otherwise, um, having run speed's nice, but I'm not going to prioritize that yet. Good chunk of change to start, but I'm going to burn it all on things that are only quality of life things. Alright, is it up here? Salvage? I know, how am I missing him? I didn't see anyone here to talk to. Oh, it's this way. Oh, I see. This is the guy. Really? Him? Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. He's smoking it. a cigar? I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. Yes. Obviously, it's moving up and down, when it, but yeah. All right. If you're worried about competition, why not just buy out his store? Intrigued. I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that shouldn't be a problem for a man like you. Devilishly excited. I have plans to expand. On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian Child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount at all of my stores. So is that the other store he's buying too? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With Mostly. Pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Uh, visor increases headshot damage. Pretty useful. Uh, that one's a little, it's still cheap, but more expensive. I don't want to buy it. Um, reduces delay before it short, uh, should start regening. Doubles the time limit for hack. Run speed, shields, and weapon reserve ammo. That's actually nice, too. This is a... I'm assuming pistol? Do they not tell you, like, weapon type? Why do they not tell you weapon type? You would think that'd be like, one of the most obvious things. So there's three times damage. Maybe it's considered a heavy weapon. There's cool backstory on it. Heavy weapon. Okay, it is a heavy weapon. That has potential. Right now I'm not going to spend money on this, but that's certainly... Let me start taking screenshots of these. Um, for now, I might actually just take this one instead of the one I just bought, but I already bought it, so fuck it. That might be useful, and of course I can get, like, the models. Okay, so his entire uh, inventory I want. I can return to this guy. Well, let me get the screenshot stuff myself. Uh, that one's useful. Uh, let me care about them. Was he over here? Yeah. Oh, so he was just bought out without me having to, like, interact with him. Okay. I think this is the same price, so it's the same discount that the guy originally gave me. It's a shotgun. No, it's a rifle. Eh. That's the shotgun. I would like to get the uh, increased health. If I'm using heavy gun, the ammo capacity. For now, I'm not going to. 
Yeah, I can't even change the armor right now to go back to the ship, apparently. This is the last area to go to, and then we have the apartments, which is the quarantine zone as well, which is where we're going for a uh, quest. What do you want? What's behind this door? The VIP section of the club, for those with the right name. Do you want something? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. All right. Where do we get from here over to the apartments? Private residence. Is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've gotta get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined. So I say, like, why would you tell me if he's not intending on letting me in? Yeah. Tell me more about this plague. It starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood. And, well, then I shoot you. It affects multiple species. Turians, Salarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune. And Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races? Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. Welcome, dude. Uh... Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. Plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Yeah, it's very interesting. Salarians and Salarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Exactly, Somebody yeah. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Well, Vorcha are also immune, you just said. Yeah, the graphics are a lot better in this. So obviously, this whole, uh, the, the, trilogy, the trilogy has been put together in the Legendary Edition, like for remastered and stuff. Um, but of course, a remaster isn't a remake. So the first game, while the resolution and the textures were upscaled, you're still upscaling a bland texture, whereas this game was the huge leap forward. So yeah, everything's gonna look so much more detailed. All the gameplay and like, there's so many crazy changes to it that yeah, it, it's a massive increase. It's a huge leap. Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. 
Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Yeah. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. And we're all humans. Alright. Uh, two of us. So again, we're waiting to level up to get that. Uh, weapon. Oh, can we change armor from this menu? That'd be useful. And we got no other weapons. No, we don't do... So armor is only from the ship. Should have gone back to the ship. Oh well. Um, so... Assault rifle, which is... Yeah, we're gonna keep him on the assault rifle. She's doing, uh... Same as me. I'm gonna have her use the armor one so that uh, I can keep using my. Switch ups! Oops. Oh, wait, no. Am I using the armor ones? Oh, I am using the armor ones. Alright, so I'm gonna have her switch to the uh, other ones then. Understood. Alright. Uh oh, I'm stuck. There we go. So, first time with Zaid. Do the map for the area? No, but this highlight, if I hit map, it highlights that. Find element zero. Good. Don't shoot, they're cleared to come in. Nothing. We got med station. We talk to them at all? No. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Good luck in there. The blue suns and Vorcha are shooting anything that moves. I like that they're already introducing all these new species. We hear about the collectors, haven't seen them yet, but we got Vorcha. Okay, so they are enemies. Um, they're both health, so. Go ahead and see my options again. We can check out Concussive Shot. Have you go ahead and get warped. And I'll go ahead and... Wait, I'll wait a second. Why'd you not use it? Warp. Oh, that's right, I gotta give him disruptor ammo too when we're done. Alright. Play control at its most basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them. Give a second, give him this. Good. It's not even like disruptor ammo. Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <laughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <laughs> Yours... And the wretched Vorcha. And why you're not blaming the Vorcha? Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morden and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you. I hope. Damn it. Damn you. Can't. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Uh, uh, oh, you. You helped me. Why? I told you. I'm looking for somebody. Would you rather I let you choke on your own blood? 
I suppose not. What do you wish to know? I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? Yeah. His blue sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. So we did hear that he was part of like the uh, the Salarian force before, so we know he has combat. But what's interesting is he displays the bodies as a warning, which is smart if it's in an area like this as dangerous, obviously. Morbid, but again, if he's in a super dangerous area, he has to adapt, so it shows he might be pretty fucking cunning, too. You were talking about Vorcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. Convenient. The Suns are fighting to protect their territory, but as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Yeah, so you're telling me this is a, a plague that doesn't affect the Vorcha, and they started storming in the second the plague hit, and yet you don't suspect them? Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? Yeah. What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Oh, okay, Besides, I see. So apparently Vorcha are immune to all disease. To a virus like this. They're scavengers. <coughs> Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. I should go. Goodbye, human. Alright. Back terminal to hack. Find the matching code segment. So this is weird. They didn't give us the tutorial the first time we did it. Okay. Uh, alright, so I'm looking for that one. Shit, I didn't see the red. That one. That one. Shit. God, I did see one twice. Where is it? That one. What? I fit was that not it? That that wasn't it? I swear that was it, okay. This one's actually kinda hard. Yeah, ones that look very similar, so this one should be easy. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there's no map. Heavy weapon ammo. Alright. Leg victim. Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. Never thought the blue suns would turn their backs on me. 
Hmm. He was still hearing the guy's voice after he died. That's fucking with their heads. Haven't had any in a long time. Gonna <laughs> order it immediately, yep. Yeah, I haven't had any in a while either. Bypass this. Body there. More logs and safe. Credits. Yes, they just lock everyone down, whether they were infected or not. Fucked up, but it also makes sense. I swear I hear someone. There we go. He has a shield. Okay, that was a waste. He ain't noticed me yet, so I'll wait for that to reset. Could sneak around this way to get a little closer. Not much closer, but enough. Alright. You hit with that. Uh you. Go ahead and throw him. And then that guy can get, uh... Okay, so that shows Concussive Shot also can't be used when they have shields. So it is just like pool. In that sense, with some restrictions. Alright, you can get Concussive Shot. I will go ahead and, uh, warp you. Actually, no, we'll go ahead and just throw. See, I'm getting this bug where I can't... It's not letting me unclick it. I can do it for everyone else but me. We got you at full health. I'm gonna go ahead and throw you. Bam! I think he smacked him right into the wall. Yakin over there. Have you get the concussive shot while also warping. And then this guy. I can try to throw over up here. Yeah, and that's the improvements they made in this game. You can throw over cover and everything, it's so good. Alright. Go ahead and warp. You're right, it is time to die. Okay, just shot at me. Uh... I'm about to explode, so that's good. Have you get uh, concussive shot, get pushed back. Have you get warped. There's my explosion, good. Alright. I'm definitely seeing unupgraded. Actually, we're not even unupgraded. We're upgraded pretty decently, but the explosion radius is not that big. So if, and again, this is just a big if, but if I was using the uh, explosion of the tech armor, I would have to like really play up close, not even medium range. Although it does increase the radius and all that. But I don't know by how much.
I guess this is her health here? I don't even know. Not sure if they regen out of combat or what. Also looks like I don't have infinite sprint. Do I? Yeah, you don't. Okay. So I do have a mod that was supposed to give that. It's the same mod from Mass Effect 1. Because it's supposed to work for 1 and 2, but clearly it's not working. But thankfully this can be moved faster anyway. It might not be necessary. That is interesting. It doesn't work. Alright, so we can go this way for the side area, I guess. Is this a sun area? Yeah, because they're telling me to go behind me, so. Could be. Nobody in here? Alright. So far, we're getting money as rewards. Oh! oh. Thank God, you're human. When we you can see that. Door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns' territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns' territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorta. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. He was. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. Cowering in this apartment might keep you alive for a while, but if the mercs don't get you, starvation will. 
Easy for you to say. You're a soldier armed to the teeth. We're just ordinary people. True. Yeah, you're making it out like we're cowards or something. A coward accepts death instead of fighting to stay alive. If you want to survive, you're going to have to earn it. I'm taking out every Vorcha and Blue Suns group I find along the way to Morden's clinic. But I can't hold your hand while I'm waging war in the streets. Yeah. Okay. I guess if you can clear a path, we can follow. Like you said, it's our only chance. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Now, we did meet the Vorcha who told us that, uh... They weren't going to work for the general anymore. So I'm assuming it's related to this. So when we find someone who's... I'll remember his name when we see it. General something. Sounds like someone hired the Vorcha to do the attacks. You know, it could be anyone. Like, even, like, we'll just say, uh, like, Turians could be behind this. Intentionally making a disease that our humans are immune to. So humans get the blame for it. Yeah, it definitely seems like this general something tired the Vorcha. Alright, so there's like a modified uh, assault rifle. I'll so this actually it. research data. Okay, so this is research. Alright. So do you not get loot in this game? Like, you get research and all that, but you don't get weapons and shit. Fuck and load. Who are they fighting? I don't know. Firing an impact shot. <clears throat> All right, can't get it to too far away. That did work. All right. This will put him down. That one didn't work. This one will. He goes. So far away. There we go. It's back there. This fucker is right in front of me. Go ahead and throw him. So many. They're together. Um I'll warp one. Okay. Fuck. Oh, Krogan. Uh, I have to warp him and get the explosion on him. In a second here. There we go, we get the biotic explosion. Kaboom. Shit. Alright, they're up pushing me in the worst way right now. Holy fuck. Alright. I'll re up everyone's abilities in a second once they use them. Oh shit, they're all right here. Alright, you knock him back. And then I gotta do this to re-up the abilities. Got him back there, let's wait a second. Ooh. I'll warp him. And then she can detonate him in a sec. Detonate. Down. It seems we've crossed into Vorture territory. The blue oh, man. suns have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. Alright, uh 
we came from here, there was no other way to go. Wait, no, I'm confused. I don't know where I came from. I came from somewhere over here. Is that this door? Yeah, I came from this door. Okay. Did I? Now I'm completely lost. Hey, 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 back off. We got okay, this you. is also new. <laughs> I have to find out where the fuck I came from first. I'll loot this. But there are looters here. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little... entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You gonna shoot us? I've killed people for less. Uh... I don't think she's kidding, man. Whoa, hold on a minute. Nobody needs to shoot nobody. We're stopping, okay? We just wanted to make a quick buck. It ain't worth getting killed over. We're done. Seriously, I swear. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solace? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to. Before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish him off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see him go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship. Kept the district in line for the most part. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Alright, nothing for me to... not steal. Find out what the fuck I came from. I really don't know where the fuck I came from. I could have sworn it's from back here, but there's no other direction. Oh well. I'm assuming I explored everywhere. Nothing over here. Okay. The clink is over here. Good. Save. Who is it? A clinic guard. Oh. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Nice. 
Right, we have weapon loadout. Okay, so we have armor loadout too. Awesome. Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. No, is it? It's just weapon loadout. There, there's no armor loadout. The hell. Morden saved my life. I owe him everything. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. I dealt with them. Professor, we're running low on toxic. Use melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in batarians. Supplement with butemerol. Melanarin and butemerol. Got it. Senate is the catalyst. I hear Morgan. Now for the Collector Ch no, Armor Research Project. Speaking of research, there's research there. The Collector is also in the DLC, I remember. So it seems like, again, because all the DLC is included in this, some of it is merchants that you can buy, some of it is research. So it's cool they actually took the time to spread it out in logical ways, looks like. Now we talk to Morden. Professor Morden Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Fortune. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Fortune a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by a weapon. No. 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 Too many guns. Not enough. I'm not gonna be right to him. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes. Yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Looking for someone. Relax, yes. Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Uh, I'll tell him the truth, because he'll probably know who it is anyway with how fucking deep he is. Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar, but must stop Plague first. Already Interesting. Fuel, need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorge so it could have been the Collectors he's suggesting. Need to kill them. But then why would the Collectors spare the humans? I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That sounded troubling. Again, Vorcha maybe they down environmental okay. systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take play cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Okay. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Hopefully it's an SMG. Told him not my to other go. weapon type. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. He's on speed. Yes, that is Morden. And uh, he is going to be a companion, by the way. So, get used to it. He's awesome. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced He has one of the potential epic moments that. of this game. Seems experimental. Destroy that's all I'll say. Destroy systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Interesting. Humans have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. And that's why they were kidnapping humans. Okay, it does definitely sound like, uh, potentially as a collector's. Okay. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. And that does make sense as well. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? 
Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Never see him coming. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release, cure. We'll be here when you return. Alright, what weapon did I get? Um... Hand cannon. I'm not sure if it's a heavy weapon or if it's a pistol or what, but okay. Are they gonna tell me when I level up? Uh, heavy pistol. Okay. Oh, so I can't swap this out? Machine pistol? Oh, this is an SMG. Oh. I didn't realize that. I thought that was just a pistol that fired through on burst. That's a shame, because this is the one I want to replace. Alright, well... They both have the same multiplier. This has a drastically higher base damage, but it's also drastically less ammo. So Magnum versus Pistol, basically. Both semi-automatics. Yeah, this is slower and yeah, all that stuff. Hmm. I mean, this is what, 37 versus 85. This has three times the ammo, so in terms of damage per ammo, this is way more efficient. So if I'm not getting ammo drops, then this is a better option. If I am getting ammo drops, this might be pretty nice. I just think the ammo is too low. I'm gonna try it though. I can always switch to this if we need to. We got ourselves a magnum. Alright, did this open over here then? Save. Get them grouped up here. They're pyros. Let's go ahead and get a... Uh, first, I'll put my tech armor on. Wait for the cooldown to go away. Also, I wanted to see, did we level up? We didn't, okay. 880, that's what we need. Alright, so... Go ahead and have you... Does he not have Disruptor ammo? Why'd he take that off? And also, why'd she run out like an idiot? Now let's finish you! There we go! Alright, move in. And you can get because of shot. Boring concussive shot. You follow the target. All right, warp. Then fly out of the explosion. Oh shit, you're back there. Okay. It'll work. Try a real man's weapon. Incoming! I see a lot more enemies in this. Shit. Alright, warp. And then warp again to the explosion. And not having the compass show me where the enemies are is definitely rough right now. I would love if they change that. Maybe that's an upgrade or something. Uh... That's a shot back there. So many enemies coming. Go ahead and do our heavy. Yeah, 
Damn. Just that guy. Alright, these ones are fine. Firing an impact shot. Fucker. Sit down. Gotta get closer. Get the heavy back out. They just fucking take too long. Okay, let me go ahead and get an overload on you. Thank you. One guy left up there, isn't there? Music stopped, maybe not. These are definitely much more extended firefights. That one. Not seeing this one. Here it is. Ah. Seems like my tech armor regenerates the uh, shielding too, which I didn't think it should, but it seems like that's what's happening. Alright, so we kind of pushed to them. Wait, it's giving me my heavy ammo? Nope. This is where we came from. No loot anywhere. Alright. Save. Again, he's using his assault rifle, she's using the pistol. And he has Disruptor Emeron, good, because for some reason, I guess like when we go into an area, I gotta remember, whenever we like go into somewhere that's non-combat, seems like I have to re-up his ammo. There is it. I'm not seeing this one anywhere. There it is. Finally. doors. They say go straight. No, they're going right, so I'm going left. Please, I'm telling you the truth. Oh, I worked Daniel. for Morton at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Pull that trigger and you're breathing through a new hole in your head. Let him go and you walk away. Oh, God! You must think Batarians are stupid. What's to stop you from killing us if we let him go? Let him live, I let you leave. Kill him, I do the same to you. Yeah. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. 
He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. Nothing else. Enemies. Oh, so it's you can see the compass in this menu. Is that intentional? That's kind of weird. You only see it in this menu. Alright, let me go ahead and get him uh, hit with concussion. This put him down. You go ahead and warp. Here we go. Over here. <clears throat> Up over that? Yes, you can. Good. Rocket launcher up there. Right, down him. Nope. Lay down him. Push. Got more rockets. Enemies in front. Okay, headshots matter. Alright, let's go ahead and both warp him. Compass. I don't know, let's see if there's a mod that changes that, because that doesn't make any sense. The compass only works here. Spread, I'll say it's not gonna be that great. Uh, I can hit him. Firing now. That one okay, hit. it didn't arc around the cover there. Shit. Right, I gotta get. Can we go down there. Yeah. like it. Get some ammo. Alright, let's see what we got. Save. Stairs up. Or, no, these are the stairs up. Yeah, so what are the other stairs? Did we not drop any ammo anywhere? Loot. There we go, I was gonna say. Better drop some fucking ammo. There we go. That's the downside, this pistol is such low, low fucking ammo. Otherwise, I would kind of like it, but I just can't risk running out like this. <laughs> Oh, 
What? This way. No control room. The environmental controls should be nearby. We need to insert the cure, then reactivate the fans. All right, what's going to be here? Come here! We shut down machines! Break fans! Everyone choke and die! Then collectors make us strong! It is the collectors. What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague! You work for doctor! Turn on machines! Put cure in air! We kill you first! Ah! All right, let's see. We got him in front. Go ahead and just oh, push him. Get him dealt with. Yes. Shepard, I've scanned the room. The central control system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. Oh shit! You can inject the cure. And I think we're the wrong keys, Michael. Why is it not? <laughs> All right. I sent her over there. I'm assuming she'll come to me in a minute. Oh, must be restored. We got music. Seeing on the compass just yet. We need to reactivate the fans. Sorry, <clears throat> concussive shot. Yeah, missed. I have located the fan controls. There are two, one on either side of the room you're in now. I'll get my headshots. Hell yeah. Alright, so it seems like heavy ammo is only uh, gotten from like specific containers and stuff, which makes sense. So, still like when I used it, but I'm only using those very rare occasions, but yeah, I was getting like stomped on there. Dude, the blood splatter I shot in his head.
Alright. I both warp. Mount that one. Shotgun. Crowing behind me. Get out now. Night, night. Is that you down? So many. Right now, we don't have a great way to deal with uh, groups. There we go. We're not heavy ammo again. We're not heavy ammo with a uh, pistol ammo. systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping, patients improving, Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either uh -huh. way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. I honored my part of the bargain, Professor. Now you need to do the same. Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. Alright. I know, Morton's such a unique character. Because again, you, you meet him and he's like, Oh, this is a weird guy. You know, it's, it's going to be funny or whatever. But he has like a lot of depth to him. Because, again, he, he is a special forces guy. Who's also a scientist. So he's highly intelligent. Both like scientifically. But he's also highly tactically intelligent. While also being very upfront with how he feels like it's just again really good design it's really fun um i don't see any reason to uh stay here so we're heading out see you in the normandy oh i think let's go back to the station oh, that's all right so we gotta do the other quest uh that's fine no so, we've got the gun that I'm using. Use the research computer. So these are research things, okay. All right. All that, all right. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, yep. retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Yeah. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes, but this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. 
There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. We're going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify, neutralize technology, need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. All right. Uh... I'll update first. All right, so we'll do uh, all this stuff tomorrow, but for now, I want to see what this research. I'm not sure if it's time-based. Looks like it's not time-based. Okay, cool. So I don't have to do it right now. That's why I wanted to just rush and see. So right now we could upgrade assault rifle damage. We could increase melee gel capacity. I believe these are all DLC. Well, not all of them, but most of these are DLC. Or, you know, were DLC. So we could research this Cerberus Assault Armor, the Assault Rifle, the Collector Armor, all the- I remember the Inferno Armor. Ooh, Negotiation Bonus, Power Bonus, and then Movement Speed. Uh, shotgun. So I'll make a plan for what I want to- what I do. Um, and then there's Ship Enhancements too, okay. So th there are upgrades in this game that you have to like buy the ability to then upgrade certain things. So there's generic upgrades like weapon damage and stuff. I, I don't know offhand, but I would assume like clip size, things like that. There's armor upgrades, so it's health, um, like shields, generic stuff like that. Uh, then we can unlock specific types of weapons, um, armor, things like that. And then ship enhancements, which we'll see about um, so that's pretty cool. What's this upgrades? I think upgrades are the ones like after you research it, they're tagged as upgrades. Okay, cool. Well, I'll definitely look into that and plan that out. Otherwise, we'll start tomorrow talking to Morden. We'll turn in the uh, side quest that we got here, but we do have to go back to um, Omega because we also have to com uh, get another companion. So we'll end up having three companions. They're three new ones. Uh, we already had Miranda and Jacob. We got Morden. We got the first DLC companion, Zaid. And we'll get this other one. Uh, where's the armor at? Why is it not in the armory? I think it's in my room. We'll do that really quick as well. I did buy this, but now it's all this other armor. It might not. I mean, it's not bad, but... Might have chosen something else. Where's the armor that I bought? Oh, did I buy it and then we had to research it? I might have bought it so we had to research it. I guess I did. I guess that's what happened. I'll look into it. Whatever armor I bought, I guess I bought it to research it. Oh no, there it is. There's a Blood Dragon armor. Okay. Um... Oh, so it has its own helm. So this helm gives me... F this whole, like, armor set just gives me 5% health. For now. 
but you can buy individual pieces, whereas this is a full armor set, which right now gives me shield and power damage. I'd take this for now, but obviously I can customize other stuff better. Alright. That's what we'll use for the time being. Cool. Uh, we can deposit these, like, thingies that I got here. No? Where do I put the, uh, trinkets? I don't know. I'll look around. Uh, but either way, it has begun. <laughs> Day one of Mass Effect 2, and, like, the amount of changes and upgrades is staggering. Just way too much to kind of even try and, and go over. Like, graphically, obviously, much more detailed, but, like, every aspect of gameplay. Like, immediately the movement just felt so much more fluid. Um, changing how powers work in terms of the fact that you can shoot them and arc them now. Um, having shields, armor, barrier, as well as health, which then incentivizes you to use different skills at different times because different skills do different damage to different types. So there's more strategy. Having explosions now where you can prime someone and explode them based on the different type of ability you use, more strategy. There are just so many more changes too. We have all these upgrades, the research stuff. Um, it's crazy. Like, in terms of advancement, you go from Mass Effect 1, probably Mass Effect 4. Like, that's how big this is. Maybe 3. It definitely skipped one generation, if you will, of a sequel. Like, that's how many crazy advancements there were for this game compared to the first one. Um, and that's just talking, like, technically speaking with all that stuff. The real fun is, like, you know, how how fun is the game and yeah man this game is going to be fun the characters the story uh you're already seeing it like morden fun character uh just in the very beginning shepherd dies he was dead for two years then brought back to life uh and brought back by the devious organization cerberus so just a really interesting premise to start, and it's going to go wild from here. Um, so this is going to be a really exciting, exciting time. Like I said, day one, it has started, and we're going to keep on going till it has, uh, well, not ended, because there's still Mass Effect 3, but uh, we'll get some pretty epic moments in this game, I'll just say that.